Okay, first step is to launch our studio, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install the use this package. You can use the GUI or the command uh, install.packages, and you're just going to load the, uh, you're going to install the use this package. Then the, after you install it, which you only have to do once, you have to load the library with library open paren use this close paren, and that you do every time you restart R. And now that we've done that, we can use the function called use underscore use this. And what that allows us to do is paste some information into the .r environ file, which has just been spawned and opened up into the script editor. And all you have to do is uh, click into that script editor and just paste, and it gives you all the information you need. So then you can just save, and after you save, you're going to restart R. Okay, so after you restart R, of course, you're going to have to load the use this library again. But basically, all you did was open that text editor and click paste and then restart. All right, so we will load the use this package again, and then we'll go on to the next function. The next function is use underscore git underscore config, and of course, that configures your git client. You'll see how I'm doing that on the screen. Um, I misspelled my email address, but you can get that email address. It should be the one you associated at GitHub. Okay, now we're going to use the browse underscore GitHub underscore PAT, which is PAT stands for Personal Authentication Token or Personal Access Token. Not sure which, but um, you can find that at GitHub. And that is a token that is specific to between your computer and GitHub. Um, you'll have to log into GitHub to see it. You want to give the token description a reasonable name that speaks to you, for example, my laptop, and then when you scroll down, you can generate that token. You're not going to share that token with anybody. I regenerated my token after this. So it tells you to copy that into a buffer, which you'll see you can do by clicking on the little clipboard icon. And then the next time you look at that list, uh, <clears throat> that token will no longer be visible. So keep that token private. And then edit your edit underscore r underscore environ function to edit your r environ function. A file which will go back into the script editor right and it tells you exactly how to configure this but you're basically going to type github underscore pat equals and then you're going to paste your personal access token uh, into the environment variable uh, into the environment r dot r environ file and then you need a blank line then you can hit save and you can restart your computer and basically at this point you have set up everything so that you should be able to use uh, the use this functions that are really helpful in creating repositories and pushing repositories, new repositories. Uh, but for now, you've done the configuration. I think in the future you may not have to do this personal access token part, but um, this is working for me now, uh, and it should be noted that this does not seem to work if you're using two-factor authentication at GitHub. Um, but in any case, uh, I hope this helps.